look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. be as tall as my big This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy lyre de Hamil. May the animal Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just, it's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. for the rest of my life. It would still not be enough. <sighs> oh, give it here. Should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> you told that Hey, don't go! Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. 
absentee archon Mastat. How impotent you've become. And that smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? You should have held your tongue. So, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Venti! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> Exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where did he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean... Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last- Ah, uh, so you noticed. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal mag- <laughs> It's just a glowing glass ball I carry around- So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that- Indeed. She is one of the seven, 
the Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The Seven don't always get along well, but uh, how should I put this? Five hundred years ago, I knew her well, but I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened five hundred years ago, and after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone, hmm? <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. What? Why didn't you tell us before? <sighs> well, then bye! We're going! One moment, Windborn Outlander. Yep. Traveler. As you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tavat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Great. So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard's up till the end. Devalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. I just hope that Devalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Well then, best be off to Liyue. If the dissension ritual you failed to tally, then another year you must dally. <laughs>
anything the knights can do for you. Anything the knights can do for you? Come in, take it. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paimon needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. You weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Oh, I need to serve some customers. Hero. Seems like your standard cookie cutter urban legend. But just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Look no further. It's me. <laughs> You're right. I. <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante, too? <laughs> no. I just mean, he must be seriously rich. Why is that? People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. It's the same in every hero story, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail, after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something.
Take your pick. You'll find no second rate on his way. You want to know about him? In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa! Slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow! Guess what I did next? I wasn't the bad guy, why would I need to run away? Still, I did leave the scene. I didn't want to be a nuisance to the Dark Knight hero. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius' as correct. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Avonius after all? Yes. <sighs> but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time you rescued her. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get him out of my mind? Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on, how did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? Oh no, what am I going to do? If Master D. Luke ever finds out... Huh? What's d got to do with this? Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. I used to think d was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight hero, I... I just don't know anymore. Wowee! You saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. Who knows? Now that you mention it, a pyrovision does seem like a good explanation. It lit up the whole area in an instant. I remember that very well. Okay, then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. Hmm... Nope, still no idea. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at nighttime. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. It's getting dark! Let's stick around Mondstadt. Maybe
Maybe if we're lucky, we'll meet the Dark Knight hero. After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route... Dark Knight Hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man in his dog in Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight Hero! I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Mr. Dark Knight Hero. Please stop calling me that. Seriously, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest superhero name Paimon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. Like, um, Captain Pie. Pie? Captain Pyro! Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? It was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance. Considering that I've proven myself to be once... I assume so. Unless you're aware of any other... Dark Knight heroes around these parts. The Knights are, for the most part... An utterly incompetent bunch. I cannot trust them to take this matter over. <sighs> That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Oh? What is it, Master Diluc? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. <gasps> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent back up already? They appear to just be small timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember! Don't tell a soul. Hey, you're just gonna leave us like this? Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nuh uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch! Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case. The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh! Uh, the Dark Knight hero is. Uh... You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows! 
On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to the city. Uh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. W wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Oh. Uh. Why would you lie to me? Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Seems like Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him.